Do you ever wonder what happens when the police leave? Crime Scene Cleaners are private companies that handle the cleanup after the police are gone. Spalding Decon is one of the nation's largest cleanup companies handling the aftermath of homicides, suicides, decompositions, hoarding, and much more. These are our stories. Hey guys, we're in Venice, Florida on a unfortunate decomposition. The resident here lived alone and was awaiting some type of organ transplant and it didn't happen. What's up, Eric? Hey, Evan. Is this gonna be your first decomp? Uh, third. Third? Third. Wow, a seasoned veteran. Right, already? Ain't wasting time down here in Tampa. Mm-mm. I'm Ebony Gray and this is Stephanie Sanders of Spalding Decon, Ben Salem, and this is going to be our first Decon. We're here doing franchisee training, so we are lucky to get some real life experience today. Hi, my name is Jared Jones. I'm from Spalding Decon of Fairfield, located in California, and we are here to clean up a biohazard with some decomposition involved. Hey guys, we're in Venice, Florida on a unfortunate decomposition. The resident here lived alone and was awaiting some type of organ transplant and it didn't happen. So uh, the person passed away in the area between the kitchen and the dining room. So it's part carpet and part ceramic tile. So we're dealing with kind of uh, two different surfaces and two different tool sets that we have to do. And we've got franchisees here from uh, Ben Salem, Philadelphia area, Pennsylvania, and Fairfield, California. So uh, we've been having a lot of fun in the last uh, week and a half or so. And this is uh, their first decomp that they're working on. All right, who's your go for? Who's your go for? I would start with somebody and then we'll switch. All right, okay. go for So Eric, what's this process going to look like? So essentially what we're going to do is we're going to start peeling back at the labels, labels, wow, the layers of the carpet. Uh, obviously from the initial look here, it looks like it's just a pretty small area. Uh, but once we start peeling back the layers, we'll see how far uh, that the decomp has traveled. You know, historically, when you look here, that's only, you know, a few, six, few, eight, nine, ten inches. But when you start peeling it back, it could actually travel 24, 36 inches. So uh, we're going to start tearing it up, see how far back it traveled. and see all what we need to remove. It's only about, you know, six to eight inch square on the top level. Level. As we start to peel it back, you can see it's saturated into almost double that size already. And that's already the first level. So as we continue cutting, we'll see how much farther it's traveled outside of that. And then what we'll do, we'll take from there to the corner after that. There you go. Well, we can make it tight. There you go. The tighter the easier it is. That's the beauty of it down here, it's concrete. Concrete underneath, yes. so we have a lot of room for error. Yep, that's the beauty of it. Is this common up north? It is not, actually, just about all your homes up north will have basements in them, so you're just dealing with subfloor, sure. particle board. Uh, if it's an older home, you're gonna have the actual true hardwood that you don't want to damage. Uh, so, down here is definitely a lot nicer in that regard. Wow, you can see what actually traveled even, far. even farther on the concrete on the yeah six to eight inch area it's turned into almost 18 inch square we have something uh, like a door scraper something like that yeah we also yeah we got the brush we also got the flat bar that we can use as well yep this one's good That's the part that has to 
you need the black paper. This part is really good. Okay. 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 What's that? Yeah, I mean, you can try to see if it indicates, but I doubt it will. Nah, you're good. It's just, yeah, tripping out. We yeah. need to cut a little bit more. We need to move closer then. to this door, I believe, with okay. carpet removal. Keep going then? Yep. And then I think, gopher yeah. will go get part A. Yep. Here and here. Take the rest of that strip. Sure. Go all the way to the sliding door, door and just dispose of it all right back. Okay. Thank you. Basically, that center area there. Look, two dinner plate sizes. There we go. There we go. I feel like we need a scraper. So I think it's really more of this. Scraper? Yes. Say the truck is completely void of it. How do we improvise? Paper towel. I would use the. Um, Scraper? Yes, exactly. I'm not sure what they do. Okay. No, we use paint, paint, uh, well, knives. A fine, a fine wiring tool would be perfect, but mm -hmm. they make the. So take a paper towel then and see if you can wipe it now. Nope, it's not coming. It's still okay. a good amount. All right, let her see if we can find that. That's a little better. Okay, so after it's wiped dry, what's the next step? Shockwave. Yeah, very good. How long does it sit? 10 minutes. Yep. And then while that's sitting, where do we do next? Keep going. Oh. Keep going. Okay. So we'll get your area kind of free of debris. So this is hard. Yeah. So I would take that brush behind you and just start getting it up. Okay, so I would go ahead and pick up those mats. They got to go. Oops, we're pulling up top. Maybe the next. So that we don't have a, the bit the for the pile chipper? Been, Correct. Been there Correct. Since so, so no one by hand. School. I don't know if he's a salesperson. One tile at a time. One yeah. tile at a time and the house is 90 degrees. Get a broom real quick or a brush so I can get some of the debris up. Good yep, works for me, I don't care. There we go.
Eric Smash! Angriest man in the world. Mm -hmm. That's what we call redemption. Right. This man will never use a tile chipper again. It's costing too much electricity. That's right. Eco-friendly. This is the eco-friendly way. For fashion or safety? Safety, it's really dusty in here. That's why my eyes were burning before. That and the sweat. But also fashion, right? But also, always fashion. <laughs> we indicated? We're so we just stopped we're it about to. sweeping up. Should we have the back first? Um, I would take up that piece of loose linoleum. Just pull anything it loose? Just right there. Yeah, just anything loose like that. And typically what I do is I'll use a pole scraper or something like that. It'll just get it. Now let's um, sweep up and then um, try not to mix dry with wet in the same hep of that. <coughs> just makes it hard to clean. Yucky. It's so satisfying to watch. Yeah, I wish you get them out whole. <laughs> mm. This method would have worked too, thank you. Sure. I even came prepared. This is cleaner. Lights up. Eric's ass. Like, like, like my butt. Because when this lights up, the northern star is even dim. Okay. That's my best. <laughs> I wanted them to get the full effect of, you know, a trip without tools. That way they know okay. ahead of time. This so is a learning worry. experience. So you planned you know, this. I planned this. Don't you fucking hide <laughs> it. Mm -hmm. I planned this. I actually think I need to take that time. And I hate it. Thank you. First time. Yes, you did. <laughs> and the light lit up. <laughs> All right. Gonna try to. You tell me. Line her up. Am I lining her up? Wrong hole, fool. <laughs> Probably gonna have to go side to side to get it to set. I've never experienced that. Uh, side to side, just to get it to set. <laughs> you can this side. Okay. I can't see that. Okay, it's not the size of the probe. Up. 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 Up
There you go. Yeah. Male to female parts. All right, I got this set. It's hard to figure out, man. Don't want to go too far. It's in. Oh my God, it's in. <laughs> Make eleven. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. No problem. No, full split. <laughs> Rip my brand new pants. <laughs> my brand new work pants. Well, how was your first decom? Was it easier than you expected? Harder than you expected? What'd you learn? At least three or four times harder than expected. It was a uh, pool dried blood via foot or foot and a half in diameter. So the carpet came up, it spread out in the pad, which was a pad I'm not used to pulling out. It took a little while longer and even more on the concrete beneath. And then the grout lines indicated, so we ended up pulling up 18, 20 tiles and it just kept spreading on us. So we ended up pulling about 30 tiles, pulling a fridge out, going behind it, pulling a stove out, cleaning behind that. So it's uh, much, much more than it appeared to be up front. First decomp is down. How was it? I think it was easier than I expected. I wasn't grossed out, which is always a good thing. Um, the things that I've learned, make sure you bring the right tools and maybe a couple of extra people just so that the job goes a little bit faster and a little bit more smooth. Definitely better to be over prepared, have something and not need it <laughs> than not have it and need it. It would have made our day go a little easier, but we did learn a lot today by working manually versus working with uh, power tools. Can't wait to knock out uh, decomp with you guys in Ben Salem. Of course, spot and decomp Ben Salem. Woo! Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and ring that bell to be notified of the next episode. For more information, visit any of our locations.